Welcome to Bless Biafran Network. And this morning, I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone. We say good day to you all. I am very, very damn or sad tonight because of the way things are going. Those that know me so many years ago know that I do not get upset so easily. I was going through an internet right now and what I saw about our Igbo people business being carried away by some useless janja way of flani crazy stinking Boko Haram police soldier and the custom officers has made me so very damn upset. Customs entered Lagos, break Ibo Sokreka traders shop and store all their goods loaded it inside a very big trailer i'm living very easily consulting happening outside land without the outside people burning the trail down we have been living in peace in our own place we have been staying on our own without looking for any problem but our safani have decided to make us perish. They have decided to make us destroy our businesses. They have decided to destroy our our income, our things that made our living. They have decided to destroy it all. We can no longer tolerate this. I'm warning that useless jubri to stop this. Maltreatment, human maltreatment, otherwise he will get it. We do not look for trouble, we are good people, we are simple men by nature. But that does not mean that we are stupid. People, you have been fighting for so many years, they're sorting their goods just the way you did after the war. You took all our money, we collaborated with our whole war, and they gave us only 20 pounds. We still survive. So, what makes you think that he can buy stealing our goods in our shop? Because that is stealing. Nigeria government has started stealing. The owner of shop is not around. You break it down his shop. You with your flani janja wheels. You stole their goods, loaded it inside the trailer, and left with it. This is called criminality. I don't know the kind of law you have in Nigeria, the kind of justice you have in Nigeria, the kind of lawyers, zombie lawyers, the moving around, pretending to be lawyers, whereas they are nothing. The law has been turned upside down in Nigeria. Why other people are busy enjoying their just judiciary? Why Nigerians are crazy watching the useless tyrant of Jubri to destroy the so-called country called Nigeria, destroy the judiciary, destroy the law of Nigeria? Buhari was a criminal and still a criminal. A man who overthrew the sitting government, in, I think, was in 1988. That man is a damn criminal, a criminal a terrorist. And in fact, he's not but a useless criminal. We can no longer try this. My business might not be among the business you've destroyed, there, you've, you've taken away from there, but this pains me a lot because we are all one, we are one Biafra. You cannot come around, start destroying our businesses, taking them away for no reason. If you have any problem with them, you have to invite them, I serve them paper to come to start their store. Why going when they were not around, when they already gone to Christmas, you went there and you stole their goods, claiming to be Nigerian, claiming to be an officer of the law. You are all criminal. 
a government that run with criminality is a government of criminal. We cannot take that. You have frustrated us enough, and enough is enough. That we are keeping quiet does not mean we do not know what to do. You have destroyed the country, and the one who struggle so hard to make it in life, all you do is just to come and send your soldiers, your, your, your police, your, 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 your custom officers to come and start stealing people's goods for no reason. If you are genuine, all you would have done is allow them to come back, you come with your people and start their stories. There's something you're looking for. Why stealing their goods? Why loading their goods inside trailer and take it away? Why? You are evil government, APC government. This morning, I'm going to fish you guys out. Even the Lagos State governor is a criminal. It's not even a lot of time he became a governor. He has started stealing Igbo's businesses. He cannot tell me he was not aware of that. Those useless men are going there to, to color, color be all Igbo goose. When they were not around, they are already in, in Igbo land doing their Christmas. God in heaven, we shall destroy all of you all. You will die shameful death because God in heaven do not accept anybody trying to frustrate each other because he was the one that created every human being in the earth. In fact, I don't blame you people. I blame some of the boys that think Lagos should be their land. I don't know what is pursuing them out from their own land to go and de develop their land and do their businesses there. Those useless people that does not want them to stay in Lagos will come to that Lagos and buy their business. Those useless house like, let me see how they come to their land and destroy their businesses. You get the smell. In fact, this morning I'm damn upset. How can a human being treat a human being this way? How can those businesses they struggle so hard to make the money to achieve to that extent? We are not the Flanis that don't work hard. All they do is do barbarian everywhere. Criminals killing innocent people. That useless son of a big deer that calls himself Buhari as his jubri. Has been going around destroying Igbo's business, stealing Igbo business through his damn quest. Baggers of police, soldiers, and the so called custom officers. These are all criminals who have in Nigeria. How can you lead the country? How can a criminal lead the country? That means that country will be a country of criminality. We are tired of all this nonsense. British government, it's time you do what we ask you to do. We need our country, our nation, Biafra. We can no longer tolerate this. The Queen of England, I'm calling on you to do what is right. Now that everything is cool, do what is right. You already know an old woman. So the best thing for you is do what is right. At least you know what God will use to bless you when you have gone. Because as far as I'm concerned, all the whole thing British government have done to us is all evil. During the time of war, they collaborated with the Nigerians and killed the Igbos in, in, the, in dozens of them. In thousands of them. They starved the children to death. These are all handwork of British government. If I say it, Facebook, I don't think, or YouTube, I don't think it can be able to, to, to assassinate me because of this. This is the reality. These people collaborated together and killed the innocent children of Biafra so many years ago. People, children that don't know anything about the war. They killed them. They should have fought face to face with the soldiers, the soldiers, the call on train soldiers that Ujuku brought. They should have fought face to face to them instead of killing innocent children with starvation. And ever since then, this has not been enough for you. You have still been collaborating in helping this stupid son of a bitch to, to, to force the Igbos to, to liquidate li li their businesses. Look at what is going on there. If you watch here closely, we see that that was a trailer 
packing the whole business from, from Lagos to who knows where. If the Flanese cannot work hard to make their own means of living, why should they destroy people's own that suffer so much they make their money? I wish I was a monk or maybe any of my sister called me that their business are monk or the ones they do that into my that place. I would have sent something that would not, they never believe in their life. Born comes. You guys are evil. We are finished school, we left school, no job. Some people go into business to make something out of their life. Why some travel, some die in Metronia Sea, why some still in desert, suffering so hard, doing different things to make see if they can be able to make it in life. Send money to their people, and when they establish with it, you use less government to go there across the APS government. When PDP was there, Jukulaj Jonathan was there, things like this are not happening. Is it by force to recognize the useless set of APC government that are full of criminality. YouTube, this is not a hate speech. This is the fact. If you check the history, you will understand where I'm coming from, where I'm going to. This is the fact. How can a human being that call himself a human being, a government that call itself APC government, each of them to live by example for the people to follow, rather they be frustrating the people. They brought Nigeria to this problem they are today, and they want to use other people's business to, 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 to amend it. What does Igbo man business got to do with something that government destroyed? Igbo man is to do his buy and selling, make his money, and feed his family, and save the rest. You go into his store, you break his store, you store his goods because what well, because that is stealing. You store his business goods, you pack it into a lorry of trailer, you store his boss where he put his money. And when they call the Lagos State uh, uh, Lagos State Custom, they say they're not aware of it. So who the hell is all these people? Who the hell are them? Nigeria is breeding criminals. Nigerian government is breeding criminals. And that APC government have to be impeached. They have to be impeached. They are criminals, full of criminals. Semele is a criminal. Tinubu is a criminal. Buhari Kejubi is a criminal. Abakiari is a criminal. These are the men that be stealing, stealing, and they stole the Nigerian money so many years ago. And now they have still be stealing Nigerian money that came out from oil. These are the men now they have stooped so low. They have stooped so low now to go and steal Igbo business. People, money, and their goose. These men are evil and do not suppose to live in the same society with the innocent people. Tomorrow, Buhari will travel to London, travel to Russia, travel to Germany, travel to everywhere, South, South, South Africa. And when he comes, they will welcome him. Exactly. The evil bears flew together. If not, that kind of man should be a man that should be arrested in any country he go to. Because he's a criminal. He don't liquidate people's business because he wants to make your country better. They are not the one that made the country bad. You are the one. You I don't give a damn if the First government contributed to it or not, but as far as I'm concerned, you government, APC government are the ones that destroy Nigeria today. He came into office, all he could do is put in every flanny in the whole place. Flanny soldier, head of soldier, flanny head of uh, 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 police, flanny head of uh, uh, custom, flanny head of civil defense, flanny this, flanny that, flanny head of uh, 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 head of uh, 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 national assembly, flanny head of SNET, SNET house. Flanny head of the presidency. These are the things that frustrating Nigeria. These are the things that give Nigeria bad name. These are the things that make Nigeria to go down low when Nigeria is supposed to be the highest country in anything, even anything at all. Because they have the oil, they have the gas, they have the gold, and they have the human resources. That's the most important. Who happens to be Igbos? 
You are not destroying their business. You see, by force to believe in your government, your government is nothing but a shred. Your government is a bunkum. Your government is just nothing but a chicken shit. We can no longer tolerate it. You have made everybody zombie. Those that came out from university so many years ago, are not, they don't even speak good English now because they have become so confused to the extent they don't even know what they are doing. You are a moron. A bunkum. You Nigerian government, you make me sick. You stink. You stink. All you do is go send your book around, flying him men to go around killing innocent people, for suffocating innocent people, forgetting what you're supposed to do to make the country better. Why should you be going around putting Fulani that did not read A B C D into office? They are the ones that have destroyed the country called Nigeria. They don't have common knowledge. Common sense they don't have. All of them are Sharia lawyers leading Nigeria. How can such country be good? When you say ho, oh, they will stop because you are a president. What the fuck are you? You are nobody. That place is not your mother, mother's kitchen or your father's kitchen. Your father's bedroom. That place belongs to the masses. The people of Nigeria. They, they, even though they did not vote in India for the second time, but that place still belongs to them. You don't have the right to take it away from them. You don't have right to frustrate them. You don't have right to do what is not good for the country. But all those who have been doing it, nobody is stopping you. Now you have stepped so low, stooped so low to come and start stealing Ibo's business goods. What a bon share. We can no longer tolerate this. The evil that may do live with them immediately. This man have to be impeached. After all, they have been trying to impeach Donald Trump, a man that did not do any button, a man that loved his people, a man that loved the way, way being of his people, that wants his people to live, live in a good place, to be all right. They have impeached him. Talk less of some kind of tyrant, military president, who is a fool, who, does not, who did not go to school, who says that no, had, had no certificate. You are, you are leading us into a grave, you are a moron. You are a scalawas. You have them pay to the audacity, the nerves to go into saying you are murderous, full and in the, in the custom uniform and the police uniform to go to your boss businesses and store their goods and load it in trailer, store their money. You are evil. We are tired of this nonsense. It's better British government do something now that it's not late because. That's a way man thing, one can endure things up to. Forget those things you are giving them every time. From this to this. From what we to this. From the letter to this. That and their own cup of tea. We do not want any war. But when you people provoke us to the end, believe in me, we will not take it at all. God in heaven has been standing by us ever since you people left us with 20 pounds. How long will this humiliation continue? Last time you sent your evil Boko Haram soldier to go and assassinate a lawyer, a practicing lawyer in Nigeria. That was not enough for you. All the whole evil we have been seeing is from this government, APC government. And nobody is ready to talk or say anything about it. You guys are busy frustrating the boss. How long will you continue? And how long will you continue to endure this? I don't blame you people too much. I don't even know what they are doing in Lagos. When their villages are there, they are turned, their place have turned, turned to a desert. And when you see that one now somewhere, if you talk as Nibo man, you taste your bed, go sit down. This is their problem. They always feel superior, righteous, righteous. They are nothing. The truth is the fact. Ibos are first and cause Ibos now are nothing. Buhari have destroyed their thinking faculty. They no longer have it. They no longer have it. If not, how can a, a government be stealing from people he call his own people? The people he call one Nigeria, he have been stealing from them. 
We have oil there. What are they doing with oil? They are stolen the whole money of the oil, crude oil, the gas, the gold. Now they don't know how to make the country right. They are going around stealing Ibo's business. Is it what will make the country right? Is it what made the economy of the country to be good? Stealing Ibo's business? Bone cops. This is becoming too much. We can no longer tolerate it. As far as I'm concerned, in my own opinion, understand by whatever I say, Abakiari, Jubreke Buhari, Tinibu, Oshomele, Okrocha, Ifan Ugwani, Devo Mahi, so forth, so on, they are all Buharis. messengers and they are all criminals <coughs> sorry guys sorry for that we can no longer throw this every now and then why can't you ask yourself a question you somebody listening right now ask yourself a question how come every time and then now all the whole nigeria are burning on fire these men belong to a society they call Rumnatu kingdom all of them they are in the highest level. What they do now is burning people's store, burning penis them to see if somebody will burn down because now they use them for money rituals. These government, APs government are criminals. They are criminals. They have been killing, burning, selling people's liver. They are DSS. DS, these men are evil. We cannot tolerate them anymore. American government should come and help us. We will need the help. We have never seen such country before in our life. So many years ago, British were leading us in the country. We endured because British were not too, this too bad. British government were not that bad. It's just that there are certain things they are not doing right then. But they are not bad. We have endured everything and we live together with them without any problem. But these men, they handed over power to, are evil. They are beasts in a human uniform. They are beasts in a human form. So we can no longer take this. God in heaven knows that whatever it is that is banned in heaven is banned in earth. Even the holy book said. For God, who so loved this world, he gave his only begotten son, and whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Fulani cannot perish us, they are wasting their time. We can no longer throw this shit from anybody. Talk like for some bunkum, some illiterate, who claim his monopoly of everything? No. Because they do not have the strength, the power to do business and make money. For now, the people living in the bush so many years ago, they don't live in the home. But nowadays, they have come to Color B, a man who calls himself president, who invited people from outside to come and live in the country, free of charge. That kind of man is a man that is training terrorists. He brought terrorists every day by day in the country called Nigeria. In Northern, there is Boko Haram, there is Flani Hemmen, there is ICC, there is this and that. All these people are brought by A.K. Buhari Jubri. Today again, he have uh, announced that people should come into the country without passport. That will show you that this man has something upstairs. He has something thinking. He's uh, planning something very dangerous. And some set of people like the so-called zombie of good Lord Jonathan, who was supposed to remain in office even, how many votes did he win you with? Just nothing. But he just left office for the fool. And today he has still visited the fool in Asorok. On to what? You want to prove to us that you, are, you st stand by one Nigeria? That does not matter anything. If you stand by one Nigeria, that's for your own cup of pocket. But visiting the fool, the evil man that is killing your people, frustrating your people, 
I know everybody has his own right, has his own human right to do whatever I want to do. But please, do not sell us again. If I say, if I talk, say it, I will not die. Truth is bitter. But it's clear. We can no longer tolerate this. Obi are not devil mahi. If I knew Guan, okay, see, Bazo, Okrocha, Abocha, whatever they call you. Let me forget about the new Imo State President, uh, Governor Affairs. We are still looking at him. All of you are criminals. Your criminals serving a man, an impostor who has no certificate, an impostor who came into office without certificate. Nigeria law made it clear that anybody who wants to be a president, fight for a presidency position, must have a certificate. That impostor there had no certificate. All you keep on doing is forging from the one to another, forging certificate from one to another. And you tell me that that type of man is somebody who will stand looking. And the funny part is that at least somebody took over face with that certificate. If he's leading us where well, they will take it, we'll, be, we'll be even be happy with him. But this man called himself a tyrant of 1988 who stole our billions of naira from our oil. He was a petroleum minister. That kind of man don't deserve to be a president of Nigeria. He's evil. He will never stop. He wants to flanize the country called Nigeria. He will want to flanize it. He can never stop. He's a crazy man. We are tired. When somebody said this, people will say he's talking too much. How long will this continue? They are destroying one people's business and others are standing watching because it's not their own business destroying. Things they are doing to us, if they have done this to Yoruba man or they have done this to our salmon, believe in me, by now you'd have seen fire in the country. But we have been enjoying this for so many years. From year to year, they destroy this. From year to year, they destroy it. From year to year, they destroy this. But this particular tyrant now, his own is becoming too much. He called himself a Buhari. Is that really a name? I don't think so. We want to listen to names like do good. Do, the names that is good, the names that do, does good things to these people. Like Mandela. Names like Mandela. Names like Trump. That's the kind of things we want to listen to. Names like Gaddafi. People that do good things to his people. They say Gaddafi is not good. Just like they say good Lord Jonathan was not good. That's how they say Gaddafi was not good. But when he, they kill him, somebody, they take over. Look at how the country is today. Libya is just like a, like, like a mess. That is exactly what is happening in Nigeria now. And the people who have contributed in this rubbish, I hope they have seen it. That's neat. I don't know what it be this one again. Pa. What did they call that useless uh, new, new governor, new letter governor from Lagos State? Would it be that one name quite again? What is this problem? Now, what he want to is it why Buhari letted him? I say episode whatever. Now he's busy uh, sending people to go and steal both business. He both goose. Because uh, maybe when looking at him, they find out that he's a, he he is a Muslim. This is the type of thing that we are talking about. If you are treating your people like this, how come what do you expect other people outside where they do outside to treat them? It's a shame. Nigeria government are shameless. Well, it's already a third state. It's not a valid state, but a first state. Let's watch and see where they will end. Because in this life, we are living. Any bad thing man do is what the people will judge him with. Like I say, 
We can never, never, never throw this again. Stealing from us is not what we will take. If you destroy us physically, if you destroy us spiritually, but physically, you will not. Because if you don't destroy us physically, spiritually, I don't think an evil man will get up one day and go to one church in Yoruba land where they will be for preaching nonsense. People that have not preached one day about the thing happening to Igbos, I go there, I give them 3 million, 5 million, some give 20 million. But your brother will tell you today, give me those 5 million, he will start talking trash. Nah, cool, or down. He want to misuse the money. These are the things happening. Come on to stand by our pub. Few of you. I not, do not want to do that because you believe you are living in Lagos because of that you don't want Biafra to come I will see how long you are going to live in that Lagos with this tyrant Buhari moving around stealing people's business and goose what a shame what a shame. That is the headline. What a shame. Nigerian government, what a shame. Nigerian government, what a shame. You are all shameless. Thank you. I'm coming to the end of this broadcast. And I say thank you so much. But please, watch the video below. How they stole your brother's business, Goose. Stole their save where they save their money inside their store please they carry it away and float everything in trailer full trailer more than five trailers watch it and you will understand why you shouldn't be fighting for one nigeria you bonkums you fool a flip Wonder shall never end. The Afra needs to go. See what is happening in my streets at the Yaba where they are selling okay. Custom and army come there, break all the shop, part all the okay that is at, that is they are selling the imagine. Why can't evil people understand that lives Biafra? See what is happening like now in Yaba Lagos. I pity them. Many of them have traveled because of this SMAS and they break their shops, break their party store, carry all their goods. Ah, imagine. God have mercy. How many countries, how many trailers have gone out? Five trailers have gone out, four is going out now. It's a full load of okay. I imagine God have mercy. God have mercy. Oh, this government is very wicked. This regime is very, very heartless. You close border. Somebody still go to buy market and put in the shop. You come and break shop again. And pack all his goods. Life. 
Sıla yok ki mana. Ay, bari abi ne istiyorsun? Ya bravo. Sev gibi bir şey, sev gibi bir şey. Bu ne sıla yok. Sev bu spis. Okay, bez. Ay. God help us to save our people. Therefore, I need to go. Walking around because they have no hope. They have no hope. They have no hope. I started looking at them. I, asked, I started questioning and asking them what I mean, the custom. I find out all the customs are here are not hearing Igbo. They are not hearing Yoruba. These are Fulani. No? These are Boko Haram. These are soldiers. These are Boko Haram uh, the custom. These are Boko Haram soldiers. They come down here and we have been calling. We have called Alawusa, the state. The state says they are not aware of it. We call custom goals and um, at. Um, 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 what do you call it? Uh, Alao Salegos. They said they are not aware of it. So what we are talking now is that is it how we are going to be one Nigeria? That's the question. They have what we are losing now. What we are losing now is over two to five billion naira. It's what we are losing. And I hear that uh, even if they break your shop, they even carry your bosses. We have money. Yes, they carry your safe. Where your money is, they will carry your safe. They will carry your safe. They are not only seizing the goods. They will carry your safe. They understand. They will carry your safe. And nobody, you know, they came in very late yesterday evening when people have closed their markets. So I'm just telling the whole world to see what we are talking about, what they are doing us. As you see me, look at me, I'm crying because of what that did to my people. So I'm crying. I want the whole world to come and assist us. We have suffered in this country. We have suffered in the zoo. We have suffered. We have suffered. Look at their brothers. Their brothers are fooling here. Their brothers are taking over the whole area. So that's what I'm saying, sir. Please, the whole world should listen to us. The whole world should. Yes, sir. I was asked. Thank you. They are lying on top of the goods. We are the zoo full and they are lying there waiting for their truck to come. They are securing it for the truck to come before they will pack it. And the workers are when they pack all these things, they transfer it to the north and sell it in cheaper price. Then and they take it back to the south. They show, they show that I sell. They show that they sell seven seven thousand. They will come down here and sell it one thousand five hundred, one thousand. They will dash them. I hear that last time they went to Osho, they, they packed bags of rice. They went to north and started selling the rice at the age of 4,000, 5,000 in the north. Then now we are buying rice, 25,000, 28,000, 30,000 in Lagos states. What are we talking about? So that is what is going on. So I want the whole world to know what's going on. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
custom cars. This one of the custom cars. One of the custom cars today, V29 of December. This morning, we are the people that are I'm our. Yeah, this morning being 28, 29 of December, they came to Opobo. They came to Opobo and both. Can see what is happening here today. See how they pack their cars. They pack their cars almost 25 per